up YouTube? This your boy down low back for another reply. But before then, let's talk about something that's going on in the music industry, man. Young Shop came out and talked about Chief Keith and why he felt as though he should still be on Interscope and such. He came out saying shit like Chief Keith is the smartest dude that he's ever did work with and shit. And Chief Keith did some decent numbers and shit with his album. But here's some real talk, man. If you're ever in an interview and someone asks you about one of your dudes that you somewhat cool about, doesn't mean you have to answer that fucking question. You could just shake that shit off instead of saying obviously false things. Because if this is the smartest dude you've ever dealt with, that looks so bad on your part, my dude. And the main thing that I took from his little interview, man, was he saying that he sold 200,000 units, man. And in the contract for Cheap Keep, it said he would be released if he didn't reach 250,000 units sold, in which he didn't get it. Like, he came close enough that the labels could have kept him if they wanted to. But why keep him when he continues to get under arrest over dumb shit, not paying child support, just being a dumbass? But anyway, on to today's reply. Today's reply is to that G-Unit Big Body Benz. And this is another song, and I would say like three or four in a row, man, that came out recently that are all parts of repackaging fucking albums. Because even though that Beauty of Independence done dropped a little minute ago, man, they're going to repackage it and actually sell physical units to the stores. And they're going to throw two songs in there, and this being one of them. And quite honestly, I wasn't high on that album to begin with. Like, it's a great thing that it was just straight up digital, man, because people could pick and choose what songs they wanted. And this Big Body Benz... It's not helping anything, man. Honestly, it's a subpar track. That production wasn't that damn great, man. None of the verses stood out or did anything. I definitely would not be buying this project based off of this song and the ones that was already released. But I will guarantee you that they will move some damn numbers with it, though. Won't be as many as when they first released this joint digitally, man, but they I could see like five to 7,000 of these being sold. But anyway, on to today's article from DownloadPass.com. And today's article is about the power of music. See, and I understand how people could get caught up in just making music and not doing anything else, you dig? Because that shit is super addictive. I remember first time I recorded a dope song, like I recorded a lot of songs, and it took a little minute for me to make a dope song that I'm like, okay, this one I'ma run with. Like that night and that week, man, I had to listen to that song pretty much constantly because I couldn't believe I finally fucking did it. I was so excited for making this dope ass song, man. I wanted to hop in the lab and continue to make some more dope ass songs to actually make a full dope ass album, all of that shit. Instead of focusing on what needed to be focused on, which was learning the business and trying to build a fucking fan base, in which it took me a long time to realize that that's what I fucking needed to do from the fucking beginning. And the power of music, it blinds you to that, man, because you want to hope that your music is so good it just opens up the people's eyes as soon as they fucking hear shit when that's not how it works. Music is super damn addictive, my dude. Never fucking forget that. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there. And you can go to DownloadPads.com. That's down there to read today's article.